Hi, my name is Chinomso Ibe. I'm a graduate research assistant at the University of Minnesota, and this is a hands-on activity demonstration on dermal exposures from powder handling. I developed this activity along with Pete Raynor from the University of Minnesota, and with the help of students from Dakota County Technical College, DCTC. To get this activity started, you will need a glue jump powder, which can be purchased from Amazon.com, sealable stack bags, disposable gloves, a black UV light source from either a UV flashlight or a lamp, small weighing boats, small glass vials with caps, laboratory scoops of spatula, a laboratory balance for weighing, and absorbent pads that can be used over a bench top are also necessary items for this activity. You may need an extension cord and power strip if necessary, and be sure to have a sink nearby for cleanup. The objective of this activity is to recognize power handling tasks that may lead to dermal exposures. That being said, this activity requires gloves to be worn at all times. Using a spatula or scoop, measure and pour at least one gram of the glow germ powder into a small plastic snack bag and seal it. Set up the bench top by placing an absorbent pad over the area you intend to work, then place the laboratory balance on the absorbent pad. Next, place a weighing bolt on the balance and tear the balance so that it reads zero. Open the sealed snack bag and use the scoop or spatula to place about 0.99 gram to 1.01 grams of the glow jump powder into the weighing bolt. Reseal the snack bag. Transfer all the powder from the weighing bolt into the glass vial taking care not to spill any of the powder on the work surface. Then, seal the glass vial with a vial cap. Turn the lights down in the room and using the black UV light, inspect the work surface, the weighing balance and tools used, the learner's gloved hands, the learner's clothing, and any exposed skin to see how contaminated the surfaces are. Now, learners at DCTC completed this activity one after the other and were asked not to clean up after themselves. Here is the surface of the bench top after the first student performed the activity and the surface of the bench top after the last student performed the activity. The risk of dermal exposure and contamination increases as the glue jump powder accumulates in the work area after each student completes their task. Hence, it is important to clean up workstations right after use in order to reduce dermal exposures to other individuals that may use the same workstation later. The step that created the greatest risk of contamination is the transfer from the weighing boat to the vial. This is because a small mouthed vial was used for the task. A bigger mouth vial would have been more suitable. When working with powders, be sure to use properly sized containers. Also, avoid plastic bags which can generate static and make transferring a powder difficult. Double exposures during glove use may occur as a result of sustained contact with a solid or liquid contaminant. Here are the contaminated gloved hands of the students who carried out tasks in this activity. Some tasks may cause gloves to become permeable and as a result cause the contaminants to linger or penetrate through the gloves and onto the skin. A precautionary approach is to double glove, especially when using thinner gloves or when handling large quantities of powders. Gloves should also be changed out regularly. For the last step in this activity, Learners should wash their hands with their gloves still on and re-inspect their hands to see if their gloves have been decontaminated. The black UV light shows how well each student decontaminated their gloves by hand washing. Proper hand washing techniques are important to reduce the risk of dermal exposures and cross-contamination from one area to another. Other things to consider when handling nanopowders other than the glow germ powder is to use appropriate personal protective equipment such as laboratory coats and work in a hood or enclosure. This concludes the activity on dermal exposures from powder handling. 
Thank you for watching. This lesson has been created by the Midwest Emerging Technologies Public Health and Safety Training Program, also known as MedFAST, which is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota School of Public Health, the University of Iowa College of Public Health, and Dakota County Technical College. The content of this lesson is solely the responsibility of the developers and does not necessarily represent the official views of the National Institutes of Health.